Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and to the age of the age of our lives. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of God and for the salvation of our souls. Son of God, you are the saints to the 
Χριστίνε, εσύ έχεις πρόσφερα. Από Χριστής Θεός σου είπε προς Αυτόν, άρτης άρτη, ούτω γάν πρέπον, εσύ ειδημή, κληρώστε, πάσε, δικαιοσύνη. Τότε αφήσει Αυτόν και μ' αφήστε όλους τους, από του ίδιος και μισού ανιό τη σαραφό και ουρανί. Και είδε το πνεύμα του Θεού καταφέρον όσοι περιστηγάν και ερχόμενον από αυτόν. Και η δου φωνή εκ τη ουρανών λεγούσα ούτω σε
spiritual fragrance. May I rejoice in the blood of my grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray.
wisdom. Thus says the Lord, rejoice, O thirsty desert. Exalt, O wilderness, and blossom as a lily. And the barren places of Jordan shall blossom and rejoice. The glory of Lebanon, the glory of Lebanon, and the honor of Carmel has been given to it. And my people shall see the glory of the Lord and the majesty of God. Be strong, you weak hands and feeble knees. Please, please, whip and say to the faint heart, Be strong, fear not, behold, our God renders judgment, and he will render. He will come upon, will come and save us, then shall the eyes of the blind be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall hear. Then shall the lame man leap up like a deer, and the tongue of the stamina shall speak plainly. For water has burst forth in the desert, and springs in a thirsty land, and the dry land shall become swampy, and a fountain of water shall be poured into the thirsty land. There shall be there a gentle for birds, habitations of nymphs, and weeds and mosses. There shall be there a clear way, and it shall be called a holy way. The unclean shall not pass over nor shall there be an unclean way, but the scattered shall walk on it, and they shall not go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any evil beast go upon it, nor at all be found there, but the redeemed and gathered on the Lord's behalf shall walk on it, and shall return and come to Zion with brightness, and everlasting joy shall be over their heads. For over their heads shall be praise and exultation, and they shall take possession of them. Sorrow and pain and groan will have fled away. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom. Thus says the Lord. You that thirst go to the water, and all that have no money go and buy, and eat and drink wine and fat without money or price. Why do you spend your money for that which is of no value, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen to me, and eat what is good, and your soul shall feast on good things. Incline your ear and follow my ways. Listen to me, on, and your soul shall live in prosperity. And I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. Behold, I made him a witness to the nations, a leader and commander of the peoples. Nations that do not know you shall call upon you, and people who are not acquainted with you shall flee to you for refuge. For the sake of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord, and when you find him, call upon him. And when he draws near to you, let the ungodly leave his ways, and the transgressor his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he shall find mercy, for he shall abundantly pardon your sins. For my, thought, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways, says the Lord. But as the heaven is distant from the earth, so is my way distant from your ways, and your thoughts from my thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return until they have saturated the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread for food, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return until all things that I purpose shall be accomplished. And I shall make your ways prosperous in the things for which I sent it. For you shall go forth with joy and shall be taught with gladness. For the mountains and the hills shall exalt to welcome you with joy. And all the trees of the field shall applaud with their branches. And instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress. And instead of the rear shall come up the myrtle. And it shall be for the good name of the Lord, for an everlasting sign which shall never go away. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Thus says the Lord, 
draw water with joy from the wells of salvation, and on that day you shall say, Sing to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his glorious deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted, sing praises to the name of the Lord, for he has done great things. Let this be known to all the world, shout aloud and sing for joy, O people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you. The Lord is my illumination and my Savior. Let us be attentive. The Lord is the protector of my life. Wisdom. The reading is from the first epistle of Paul to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that our fathers were under the cloud, and all passed through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they were drinking from the spiritual rock which followed them, and the rock was Christ. Peace be unto you, the reader. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto you all. The Gospel is according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth to Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately came up, coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. Then a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. the salvation of our soul, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the whole church of God, and the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, for our good to the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Be glad to wait to so we will not be the fall of the community, let us be the same peace, so we are from the earth. For the president of our country, all those in civil authority, all America and all the Americans and Greek people, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and Paris, of every city and for the fear for the faithful who live in the earth, let us pray to the Lord. For the safety of those that travel by one land and air, for the restoration of the sick and suffering, and for the liberation of those in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. That this world may be sanctified by the power, energy, and the visitation of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. That the purifying energy of the supercenter. Trinity may be come down upon these waters, that the grace of redemption and the blessing of the Lord be granted to them, that we may receive the illumination of knowledge and piety to the visitation of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Let this water may become a gift of the removal, removal of sins for the healing of soul and body. And for every special benefit, let us pray to the Lord. That we may become a water which springs up to everlasting life. That we it may be a, uh, become a defense against every plot from visible and invisible enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. For those that go up from what and for our for sanctification of, of houses. For this, that it may be for the cleansing of soul and body. For all those pouring it out in faith and partaking of it, let us pray to the Lord. Let us 
we may be found worthy to be filled with sanctification by the partaking of this water, to the invisible visitation of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.
you are our God who to receive delivered the race of the Hebrews from the bondage of the Pharaoh of my body. You are our God who broke up the rock in the wilderness, and the waters flowed and, and, and tore its forth for us, that sanctified your thirsting people. You are our God who through water and fire turned away Israel from the errors of our by the life. Do you now Therefore, Master, sanctify this water by your Holy Spirit in it, of those giving this with us, I have no thought in the people, so there might be truth to our deal. Do you now, therefore, Master, sanctify this water by your Holy Spirit in it? Give sanctification, watch and climbing and heal to all those such anointed or partaken thereof. And say, O oh Lord, your servants, our faithful leaders, and guide them under your protection in peace. Subdue under their feet every enemy and fall. Grant to them all these their requests for salvation and eternal life. Be mindful, O oh Lord, of our Archbishop, of the Apostles, the Reverend Presbyters, the Deacons and the Servants of Christ, and all the priestly orders of the people here present, and of our brethren absent for a reasonable cause, have mercy upon them and us, according to your great mercy. That by elements, that by elements, by angels, and by men, by that which is seen, and by that which is not seen. For you are holy, for you are all holy, may you be glorified. With the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and in the age of the Amen. Incline your ear, O Lord, to hear us. You are accepted to be baptized with Lord and sanctified the waters. And bless all of us who sit above the of our heads. Express our beings to you. Grant that we may be filled with your sanctification through the drinking and sprinkling of this water, and may it bring us a lot of health and soul of life. For you are the sanctification of our soul and body. Together, and we ascribe glory and thanksgiving and worship together with the spirit of the universe, Father, and you are holy like the Holy Spirit, now and ever.